So I'm on now. It's on now. All right, we are going to kick off our post-race media availabilities. We are now joined by team owner Richard Childress and crew chief Randall Burnett. If anyone has any questions for either one, please raise your hand and we will get a wireless microphone sent over to you. We'll start over here. Rob T. Johnson from thepodiumfinish.net. This question first goes to Richard Childress. I mean, Richard, congratulations on this victory. Of your car ownership career, would you say this has to be the craziest victory you've earned so far in your organization's, organization's history? Could you repeat that? Yeah, sorry. I'm hard of hearing sometimes. Go I ahead and repeat, Pete. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I understood. Was this a hard victory? Like a cra the craziest crazy, victory. Crazy, crazy night. Uh, we talked about it. Randall, the team, both of our teams talked today about Entering the race a little conservative. We knew the uh, tire situation, and uh, we played it out like it needed to be played out. Randall and uh, Justin both did a great job with their cars, and Tyler did a great job tonight with the race car on his restarts. And my question for Randall is, you know, obviously you and Tyler have built such a great relationship over the years. I mean, what's one of the greatest takeaways you'll have with your experiences working with him in the past few years? Well, you know, we've had some success together, obviously, and, uh, you know, I think the thing I'm most proud of is to see how far he's come in the four years he's been with us. Um, you know, his road course wins earlier this year uh, to finally get this oval win with RCR, I think, is uh, a big deal. We've been knocking on the door all year long and, and even before then. So um, just, just really proud of, you know, his effort. Um, in, in the whole RCR group to, to pull together and, and win as many races we have this year and, and compete so much. Go ahead. Uh, Justin Schuler kicking the tires. Uh, Randall, how do you approach these tire issues? I mean, <laughs> we've had three races this year where we haven't had tire issues, and then all playoffs, it seems like half the drivers, I know you guys aren't in the playoffs anymore, unfortunately, but it seems like all the playoff guys are just trying to figure out how to survive more than just Talladega now. Yeah, I, uh, I start by holding my breath a lot. Um, but no, we, uh, we, uh, we came into this race a little conservative. We got bit at Kansas the other week with one, and, and I think we've had you know four tires go down this year while leading, alert, uh, leading the race. So um, RC talked to me about it and said, make sure he keeps some air in the tires today, and I tried to do that. So uh, we went a, a little, job, bit by more, the way. <laughs> little bit more conservative approach this, uh, this week. And it, I mean, it's just a, it's a fine line. We, everybody knows their speed and in, in pushing the limits of the tires and, um, you know, with the low sidewall, the, you know, low sidewalls, the, um, the, they're not as forgiving as the 15 inch wheel stuff we had before. So um, it, it's a lot finer line, I think. Well, I mean, it, there's so many things that go into it, right? Like, um, you know, th it's tire pressure, it's camber in the tires, it's, it's where you're running on the racetrack. Like, more often than not, you see a guy that's leading blow a tire, and it's, it's because he's got the cleanest air, he's got the most air and most downforce on his car because he's out front, and sometimes it just overloads the tire, and that's, that's kind of where we're at with him. Yeah, Goodyear built a great tire. This was a great tire that Goodyear built for us. It just like Randall said, you got there's a fine line to push that limit, and it wasn't a tire as much as it is trying to be as competitive as you can. Right over here. Over here to your uh, left, Richard Mark Garrow with PRN. Right over here. Right. Come here. Oh. Congratulations, <laughs> man. Uh, what's it like, you know, given all you've been through with Tyler Reddick and all the things you're trying to sort out for next season to keep winning races with this guy? You know, it's we just got to move forwards, and we talked about winning races, racing for the championship. I really think this team is a championship caliber team, and uh, uh, they're going to win more races for the years over. Hopefully, both of them will. Do we have any other questions for Richard or Randall? Let's go up here to Dustin Long. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Uh, Randall, um, 
when you have an issue, when you see what, what other teams are going through, how, how did you have to adjust tonight? And what did you have to do with the car? Or were you having to adjust uh, tire pressures throughout the night to avoid, was it three, other, three, three drivers leading, you know, wreck tonight? Yeah, we were definitely keeping an eye on where we were at. Like I said, we started, we came into the weekend a little conservative, um, knowing that, you know, there was some chance here that there there could be potential problems. So we came into the weekend a little conservative, and uh, as the race went on, got even a little more conservative. Um, you know, like when the sun went down after the rain, the pace picked up quite a bit, uh, a lot more grip in the track. So um, we were able to come up on air pressures then and just try to try to make sure – that we didn't put ourselves in a bad spot and make sure, you know, it, it's that you, you're not the first one to have a problem, right? So um, we did that, and, and, and fortunately it worked out. The strategy worked out really good. Um, you know, the cautions fell for us and at the right time, and, and we were able to get back up through. There was certainly an up-and-down day for us. We, uh, we had a lot of problems early on and um, was able to manage through and fight back through that. So this is the same tire that will be used in Las Vegas. So... I obviously understand it's different tracks, potentially different conditions, but it probably will be hot there and so forth. What is the challenge or what is the, I guess, what is the concern with this tire at Las Vegas then? Well, certainly, you know, <coughs> like I said, it's very camber dependent, very load dependent. Um, we got to look at all that. You know, we've, we've got to go through all of our sim models and, and look at that and understand what the differences are here to there. Obviously, Vegas is really bumpy through one and two, so that, that poses a concern for it as well. So um, you just kind of got to add up all those things and make the right decisions coming for the weekend and, and not try to put yourself in a box where you're going to get in trouble. Jerry Jordan. Jerry Jordan kicking the tires.net. <coughs> Richard, I don't see any victory lane cuvee up there. Is this a more of a thank God it's over race or a we're going to go celebrate in a little while race? Well, we had the victory cuvee, but these ladies drank it all over here. See, there it is, empty bottles. <laughs> <coughs> but it is for your winning moments in life, and they didn't celebrate. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Caleb Vessel, Speedway Digest.com. Uh, this is for both of you. Um, even though both your cars are uh, out of the playoffs, what are the mindsets going into uh, Talladega, which is always a crazy race, and even the Charlotte Roval? I mean, is it different? when you're out of the playoffs versus when you're in it? No, win. I mean, that's that's what we want to do. Uh, we want to try to win as many as we can before the end of the year, you know. Um, it's uh, – Talladega will be crazy like normal, I'm sure. So um, just kind of try to stay out of trouble and uh, bide your time and uh, try to be there at the end and, and win. Like, that's, that's our goal for the rest of the year is try to win as many as we can before it's over. Yeah, uh, same here. We just uh, go in Tyler. They get a win. We'll race just like we normally would there. We'll go right up here and then to Bob. Hi, Michelle Aaron Cronkite News out of Arizona. When you see like the unprecedented number of uh, cautions that we had today and things that happened, how do you keep that crew motivated to just stay on track and keep going when all that's going on around you? Yeah, I mean. Uh, all these guys are professionals, right? It's not real hard to keep them motivated, um, you know, to, to keep everybody on the same plan. We, obviously, strategy was a big, big thing tonight with, with the cautions, um, you know, the tires, never knowing when the caution is going to come out, um, trying to put yourself in position to uh, make the fastest stop you can at the last, stop of the last stop of the night, right? So everybody got in their window. The caution came out right at, at the window of when you could make it home by filling up uh, with fuel. And everybody came and pitted, and, and we were fortunate enough we didn't have to dump near as much fuel because we had pitted a little bit before. So we were able to take two tires and take advantage of that and, um, you know, just, just get everybody thinking about that, our, you know, our engineers, all that. That's, uh, we are talking a lot about that all night long. So. Let's go up to Bob. Uh, Bob Pockers, Fox Sports. For Randall, I mean, you saw guys spinning in resin. You saw guys with tire issues. I mean, is that – I mean, you can, I guess you can look at it two ways. You can look at it as that was a mess or that you can look at it and say, hey, everybody knew there was going to be tire issues and the people who planned it right were the ones who achieved. How do you look at it today? Yeah, I mean, you know, we, like I said, it's a little bit of a guessing game for us, right? Like we don't, you don't know what the line is on it, right? So 
you want to be as close to the line as you can with them without stepping over it. So it's a, it's a, it's a struggle. It's very stressful uh, for all the engineers, all the crew chiefs, uh, everybody up and down pit road. It's it's one of those things. And um, fortunately, we got it right tonight. We've been on the bi on the backside of it and got it wrong a few times this year and, and cost ourselves a win. So um, fortunately, we we made it work tonight and just kind of go into it. And it's it's a little bit of what we're you know what we're learning about these cars, these tires, everything. Um, I think the guys are doing a great job, like trying to learn from all these issues, so we don't have them uh, going forward. Um, but it, like I said, it's still a learning process. All right, we'll go back up here to the left. Uh, Mark Garrow, PRN. This is this is for both of you. Uh, how does it feel to, you know, the team's been kicked around a little bit, but you haven't won once this year. You won four times. You got both cars in the playoffs. Just how do you guys feel about, you know, this team being? on the rebound, able to accomplish some of the things you've been able to accomplish this year? Yeah, uh, you know, I, first, I think Randall doesn't give himself enough credit. The call he made to pit when he did to get to track position was a major role in winning the race. Uh, the strategy going into this race tonight was all about track position, and he made the right call. I think you said you needed three seconds of fuel, and that put you out where you needed to be. And uh, so he did a great job on his call. But I think the teams, you know, this, this car, we're, we're adjusting to it well. A lot of teams are. And it's a lot of tough competition, but I'm fortunate to be surrounded with a bunch of good guys that's out there to win races. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really proud of how far we've came, uh, you know, with the Gen 6 car, we were we were behind on it, uh, you know. So um, it's nice with this uh, this next gen car. We've we've kind of closed the door to that, right? And uh, I think that's that's been a big help. We've done a whole lot of work. There's been a, so much effort at RCR to to learn as much as possible about this car. We got some great people up there that that push really hard, and um, you know, I, I, it's great to see. That we're winning races and, and being in the championship, you know, hunt. Obviously, we got knocked out and missed it by two points. Uh, had two bad races, and that's all it takes, you know. So it's it's unfortunate the eight cars not going deeper uh, into the playoffs. I felt like we had a, a really good shot at going pretty far in it, and uh, you know, just came up a little short last week. But um, we can still win a lot of races. I feel like we got some really good tracks coming up. We got the Roval. We got Homestead. Uh, we were really strong at Phoenix. Like, I, I don't think we're done winning with this eight car yet. Any final questions? All right, gentlemen, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.